beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today, um, I'm gonna do a little um, bit of a chit chat. And then uh, I have something to share with you guys. Um, a little surprise. So um, if you want to stick around, uh, then stay tuned. So um, basically what I wanted to chat about um, is just the channel, it's my channel itself, um, and then just just a few things, you know, like to see what you guys, you know, I was thinking about, um, I know beauty is my subject and I thought maybe uh, somewhere along the line once a week I could pick a day and uh, consider it like a beauty chat day and uh, discuss with you guys some of the new items that are coming out that I'm hearing about and seeing, like not necessarily I have it in hand. Um, and then just, I guess, I guess this would be like my first sort of one, like I'm gonna give you an so, idea of what it would be like. Then I was entering the IT Cosmetics, the uh, Vote IT Girl contest. I wanted to do that because I really, really wanted to, um, you know, like I regret, I regret not going to some kind of schooling for beauty and everything. Um, and in all honesty, I know I can't now. Not because of my age, it's just my legs. I wouldn't be able to stand that long and be a makeup artist and stand there and like, you know, apply makeup on somebody. And um, so those, the, my, my health problem would be the one that would be in the issue. It has nothing to do with age or anything. Cause you know what I mean? Mm -mm. Age means, you know, like, no, I just, I don't think age should matter. So when I went into it, I was like all excited, you know, and I just wanted to do it because I wanted to, you know, jump out of the box and I thought, hey, I have a good chance just as much as anybody else. And what the heck, you know, what the heck? But uh, another beauty had brought to my attention because I was like, this was great and everything. But I was disappointed. I'll be honest, and it wasn't just for myself. I just, I felt bad um, for the mature women in beauty because um, when I seen the top 20, and honest to goodness, I, I think they all did a great job and everything. And it, I think it's it's great that they all went through. It was just the disappointment of not seeing someone 40 years and older, like someone that's in their 40s and older. And I guess why it is, is because sometimes, you know, um, in the cosmetic world, it's especially, you know, um, there's like a lot of them will say they have these skincare benefits in them. And, you know, a lot of the women that I watch, you know, um, like Natalie and um, Susie and that, you know, like they said, you know, like we all say it, you know, I love to watch women of all age and men of all age in the beauty world. Each one I love to watch because some of them just do so fantastic of a job. And I just love seeing what they have to offer and show. I love all that kind of stuff. I mean, a lot of them have such great talent. But the only thing is, is a lot of them aren't going to be able to show me certain techniques on a 48-year young uh, beauty on maybe because my eyelids are a little more crepier. Uh, under my eyes, they are maybe a little bit more something, something, you know. They're not going to know it until they get there, really. Um, you know, and so I need to find somebody, you know, that can help me out. So I'm hoping that the makeup beauty world starts realizing that, like, hey, there's a lot of us on YouTube that are 40 years and up, you know, and a lot of them that are in the beauty world now that are younger are going to be us. And, you know, I just wish they, I, I hope they do eventually start realizing that, you know, um, that a lot of the, a lot of us should get recognized. So I, I think I was just disappointed because I didn't see anybody in there that was a little more older. Everybody was really young. That's why in my, mm, what video was it? It might, it's it, within the last couple of videos. I don't even know which one it was. 
And I was saying that your age does not defy who you are, and it doesn't. Your age doesn't defy the person that you are. I like to use the word young, like I'm 48 years young. I'm not old. I'm not like old or anything. I mean, even even when you're in your 80s, I mean, I think it's just good to say that because why should we say old, you know? Why does that word old have to be put in there, you know? And then like, why do you have to think, ugh, you know, like, you know, I'm pushing 50 and I'm not feeling it right now. Like, oh snap, I'm going to be 50. I'm not feeling that. But I think it's just because of this thing of my personality, of the way I look at age in the way I do. And I think that's what helps me. So anyway, enough of that babble babble. So, <laughs> um, so which brings me to, I was so happy uh, and y'all, uh, made me feel so great that you know like with your warm warm wonderful support when I was doing that um, You know the responses that you gave me the um, The likes that you gave me the thumbs up and just everybody being so supportive and wishing me luck It just meant so so very much to me And so I wanted to kind of do a little something to give back to you guys and say thank you I wish I could give each one of you guys something but I really can't do that but I can tell each and every one of you thank you thank you from the very bottom of my heart because it meant a lot to me to know that a lot of you guys mm, it's totally it meant a lot to me to know that you guys really you know supported me and um, it was just it was wonderful so I thank you guys so very much. I think it's just the thoughts of, um, you know, so much that I've gotten through and everything. It's like to where I am now and just enjoying life and having fun. And that's kind of, I think also why the emotions are coming out a little bit. So, and it was just so much fun to do. So if you guys ever get a chance to do a contest like that, do it join me and do it I mean it was it's so much fun I would love to have seen so many of you guys do it um, so yeah um, thank you so much so in reference to that I wanted to go ahead and do a little small giveaway nothing major major but um, I'll show you some items I'm gonna put in a little goodie bag and um, I'm gonna pick a winner and um, not sure how I'll do the winner picking yet I guess it'll depend on how many people will uh, jump in on the bandwagon to be a part of the contest and everything so but um, alright so the first thing I have here and this is in the color let me make sure if I have this correctly natural rose and it's one of pixie's lip balms I don't know if you guys ever tried any of the lip balms but it's sealed and everything so you'll see the seal it's, yeah the seals on there and everything and it's called natural rose and it's such a beautiful color this one's this one's mine this one's yours um it's such a beautiful color and it's it's tinted you know it does make a nice color fade off um but yet it's still moisturizing so i really like that and it does have like that vanilla scent so you know me and lippies so there's gonna be a lot of lippies here. So the next thing is one of the da -da -da -da, lip lovas. And this one is in the number 810. And it's kind of like, it's like a pink and different color. I don't know how to describe the color. It's just so pretty. I can't read, I wish I could read the color, but the number's 810. So if you wanna look it up on, on the internet at some point to see what color it actually says and get a better look, you can. I'll show you mine though. So I do have this color too. I have three of these now, these lip lavas, and I love them. So you'll be getting one of those, and this one's yours, this one's mine. So I'll put yours off to the side. But there it is, right there. So they're really pretty to top off uh, a lipstick, you know, that you have. You can put it alone, you can put it in the center or, or whatever. 
Um, I really like them. I didn't think I was going to. I'm actually wanting to get the orange mango-y color. I had several of these um, that I got in with my L'Oreal uh, party pack. So um, I wanted to go ahead. This one's in Nude Ballet. It's 601 Nude Ballet. And I can't find mine, so I don't want to open this one because this one's yours, but it's Nude Ballet. It's just a nice nude color. I guess I'm giving you a nice variation of a rose and then um, a glittery kind of lip gloss and then a neutral. Um, what's these ones called? These L'Oreal's. Darn it. I forget. So, so this here is a by Pixie. This is by Pixie. Uh, I got a couple Pixie products here. I like Pixie and um, you know, sometimes they have some good bargains going on. So Pixie's Sheer Cheek Gel, and it's a cheek cheek stain, is what it is. Comes in a box. So this one is yours. Let me put that there a minute. Okay, so this one is yours. This one is mine. So I'm going to put yours down there and I'll show you what it does. It comes in a tubing like this. So this is one of the ones that come out like this and then um, you can like just dab it along and then kind of make your cheek stain. But there it is there. So there's that one. Uh, oh, natural. It does say natural. So, because I, I thought they had different shades. They do have other shades, but this one's in a natural shade. So it's just going to give you natural, uh, naturalness to your cheeks. This is one of, these are nice too. Uh, Pixie's Endless Silky Eye Pen. And this one's in black. Um, so this one's yours here. It's in a box already. Mine's obviously not in a box. <laughs> And these are very smooth and creamy. I'm telling you, look at that black. That is pretty awesome. And then I did pick up, I don't have any of this, um, but I did get you a Lash Booster Mascara. Lash Booster Mascara. And then the other things are going to be like little sample things that I'm going to put in there uh, for you guys uh, to try. Some like little sample things I'm going to add in there. But the big kahuna that I got for you guys, and you cannot get it unless you do, uh, uh, unless you do get it on eBay or somewhere like that is the only way you can get it. And I did use it on my Mother's Day tutorial. Uh, collab that I did of the um, I can't even think of the flower but um, it is the flirting at the after party it's that purple now this one would be yours see it's all it's all sealed sealed the deal okay that's yours and here's mine this is the one I, this one's mine that I used. So, so this one's mine, this one's yours. I'm gonna put that one down here, show you the colors. And you can't get it, like I said, nowhere else. Um, so here is uh, a brow bone color that they give you here. Here's that. This says it's an eyelid. It's a beautiful purple, like a nice, um, just grape, grape purple. Is that what I want to say? Like a grape color purple. And then below it is a little more, oh no, maybe that's, now this one's more like a um, grayish purple kind of. And then the next one's more of a grape, gray purple. And it's for the crease. So see the difference there with them and then on the bottom is the definer it has some glitter specks but it, I've never had a problem with fallout for myself not for me anyway so that's it right there gorgeous gorgeous purpley colors 
and you know me, and purples. So there they are right there. Very nicely pigmented. This is a really nice palette. I think even Trish, was it Trish? Did, did with the same palette. Everybody was laughing. I was like, oh, you guys use the same, the same palette. That's kind of funny. Neither one of us planned it that way, neither. So, so now I'm going to do this other side, and it's more. It is still in the purple family, but it's more like orchids. Um, and it, well, like this top one's like a purpley pink, like a light purpley pink color. It's for your brow bone. And then the next one is more like an orchid color, and it is for the eyelid. That's that one. And then below it's a little bit more of a darker color in the orchid family, maybe. And then the definer is a deep purple. brow thing in this one here is kind of a duochrome and it's so funny because it almost looks similar to that um, as you can see right there it almost looks like that same coloring from that highlight I was showing in my uh, color pop eyeshadows and then last is the um, just samples and stuff um, one is a sample of the Miracle Blur from L'Oreal, the Revital of Miracle Blur for the face. Um, I do really enjoy that. I like several different ones, but I, I do enjoy that that one there. And then, um, I don't know, I somehow ended up with a card, but I do have one of these little hickeys here too. It's the same thing, only it's a card of the Miracle Blur for under the eyes. I love this. I use it all the time now it's like I just but I use this like in the tube one so you have a little tube one too it's yeah instant eye smoother this is a little wonderful thing and then lastly this is a really good um, from L'Oreal I like a lot of their shampoos and conditioners from this this family here like um, their new ones like this and this is with the um, Total Repair 5, so you get the shampoo, the conditioner, and then you get the deep conditioner. That deep conditioner is really great. If you're going through some troublesome with uh, your hair, you know, and everything, and you, you need that extra boost or anything, that is a great conditioner. So I'm going to send you a sample packet. That is, and, um, I'm going to go ahead and have these all uh, put into a box. I have quite a few boxes, so I'm sure I'll be able to find a box and um, get it all set and ready and then um, I think what I'll do is I'll just make it oh I just had a chill I think what I'll do is I'll just make it a week from from the day that I've put this up live so whatever day that's gonna end up being it's gonna be a week from that day so a week from today um, I will draw the winner uh, for this giveaway and um, all I need from you is obviously your address. Um, I will ship international because I know sometimes it can be expensive, but um, you know I have so many of you guys from all over, so I want I, I want everybody to know that I really appreciate you very much. So rules, rules are <laughs> I'm trying to think here. Ah, rules are um, you must be subscribed to my channel, of course. Um, and if you're, you have to be of 18 years of age or older, if you are not 18 years of age and older, you must get a parent's permission. I need to have the parent's permission the, um, that they're stating, the parent states that, you know, you're allowed to be a part of this contest and whatever else not. Um, because yeah, don't want to ship to anybody under 18 and then somebody's going to be thinking, what in the heck, you know, so no, um, make sure you get permission. Very important. Okay, so for the comment, I know what, it just hit me. 
perfect anyway, um, because, uh, you know, like I said, I'm thanking everybody for being so supportive of when I was doing the contest and everything, and it was the uh, What Makes You Feel Beautiful. So, um, go ahead and put down below, just, just a little, uh, it doesn't have to be real long or anything, just something that makes you feel beautiful or makes you feel good, um, or your happy place, whatever it is, you know. Um, yeah, it just makes you feel really good. Uh, let me know, and also um, make sure you put in with that, maybe put enter me, because like, I don't know if everybody, so if you put the word enter me with it, then I'll know that you're interested in wanting to be a part of the giveaway. So put enter me in along with all that. You know, we're going to be getting slammed with the holiday palettes, of course. Um, so a lot of those things will be coming out, and like right now, there is a lot of palettes already coming out even before the whole holiday, you know, before even the holiday palettes. Urban Decay came out with their new Smoky palette, and I did see that, and uh, honestly, for myself, I was just wondering what you guys think. So this is kind of like why I thought maybe I'd do like a chat each week and talk about a couple of different products and see what you guys think, or, you know, are you going to get it, you know? Are you excited? Do you think it's worth the hype? Whatever and all that stuff. Um, like Urban Decay is going to be coming out with their Smoky palette. And I do have two of Urban Decay, the Naked palettes. I have Naked 2 and Naked 3. I never did get Naked 1, but I wouldn't mind getting, getting Naked 1 because it does look really nice. I don't know. I just, I think I keep getting, getting sidetracked. So I guess I was wondering like what you guys think about this new Smoky Naked uh, palette, you know, the new one that's came out from Urban Decay, you know, are you thinking of getting it? Are you on the fence about it? You know, um, do you think it's worth the hype? Um, anything like that. Uh, for me, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'll be honest. I don't know if I'm really going to get it. I mean, I guess I would say right now at this moment, I'm not going to get it. I have that in my mind right now. Only because, um, and I'm sure it's a gorgeous palette, um, I guess I'd have to see some reviews from other people and everything in the, in the swatches, um, but it didn't really jump out at me and I feel like I have other palettes, you know, that I can do and make a smoky look. And I like a smoky look, I do, but it's not something I do all the time, it's not like, um, I do a smoky look all the time. I like to do different colors and stuff. For me, out of the Naked palettes, I don't have the first one, mind you, but out of the ones that I have right now, the uh, three that has the more rose gold tones was definitely was definitely a palette for me um, because I do love that color. So, you know, um, So that came out. Okay, um, in a past video that I just did too, I was talking about some of the, um, it was my June favorites actually. My June favorites, I was talking about um, the Alta, Alta blushes, the mineral blushes. Well, um, I'm not sure if they, the packaging is that much of a difference or what, uh, but it does look like they have them in again, because um, it, it has it listed new. So there's like several new uh, things in the Alta, you know, the Alta products themselves. So um, they do have that. I didn't notice the color Sweet Pea that I have though now. I did see a couple of the other ones that I had thought about getting, but I just didn't see Sweet Pea. So I'm not sure um, what they're doing with the blushes there, but those blushes are really nice. It's just, uh, if they're still that small, I didn't really see what the size was to compare to see if it's the same. Uh, size as the one I have because it was rather small and it's like $11.99 and I thought that was kind of crazy for all of the more of a blush that you get. I think that's it. I've been rambling on. I don't even know where this whole video is going to go. But anyway, videos, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, good luck to everybody in the giveaway. I'm super excited to do that. But I wanted to say thank you and it was something I've been wanting to do as a giveaway. Well, while now. Well, yeah, beauties, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would so much appreciate it. It would help me out so much uh, to kind of get my videos more out there, too. 
And um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. You can go ahead and click this, the uh, subscribe button down below. It's totally free, no charge. Um, and you can join me each week and uh, kind of see what's going on with me and the whole beauty world and what's new and what do I got and is it good or is it not. <laughs> and um, so yeah, just you can join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember just to be yourself and love yourself and just let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I love you all so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.